hashtag good news everyone. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to circumvent the automatic sleep function. Function. I call it fatal design flaw, right, of the NMB30, and I would expect the NMB20 to be programmed roughly the same way. Uh, basically, the speaker turns itself off after 20 minutes, right? So being a bookshelf speaker that is constantly connected to the mains and having a supply, right, that is always connected to the mains and always using power, saving that half a watt that the Bluetooth module would use in the very absolute worst case, I find extremely retarded because the cost of that is, let's say you turn it on, right, you bought it from the store like I did, right? Turn it on, pump the volume up all the way so you can adjust it on the phone. Some people have asked whether there's added uh, hiss, and indeed there is a tiny bit of hiss if you turn it to 100%, but it really isn't noticeable. So at this height, already you can't hear it, right? or you can barely hear it. Um, and you could just turn it like to 80% and then there's absolutely none. And uh, what I do afterwards is uh, control the volume from the phone, right? Because I do not want to constantly have to turn the knob on my fucking wireless speaker, right? Wireless is the key word here. Uh, so what happens is you listen to it, right? How much can you listen, right? One hour, 50. At some point, you go to bed or some shit. 20 minutes pass of no music playing on this, it turns itself off and forgets the volume. I find this unbelievably stupid. I have no idea why the hell they did it. I think... I, 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 I have no idea. Anyway, so what you have to do then is go back, like get off, get up off the chair or whatever, turn it back on, Turn the volume up to where you would like it to be, right? To basically increase the maximum volume of the speaker, right? If you control it from the phone. And this is this is not acceptable. So I... This is not acceptable. So basically it was either changing the full amp on this or fixing the problem. And I did find a way to fix the problem. Unfortunately, I did, took, I did take a pretty long detour. So my initial idea was to have the... To put, a, uh, to put an Arduino inside and have it basically cycle the volume up and down. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Every five minutes or some shit, right? Uh, given that I've never played with rotary encoders before, so these things that you can turn indefinitely, I was like, hmm, let me make myself a little demo board. And so I have. And so this is it. Basically, it just counts up and down. Not much. Uh, only to find out, right? Luckily, I haven't sold it to it, and I was like, mm, let me see if that actually does keep it awake. No, it doesn't. So you could, every 15 minutes, do whatever you want with the volume. After 20 minutes, it turns itself off. So next up, I looked at the Bluetooth module. Uh, if you want a more deeper overview of this, I also have a video of it up there in the corner. And uh, so yeah, basically we're focusing our attention. I've actually removed this to protect the encoder as much as possible. So let's zoom in a tiny bit. So basically you can see this mod wire and I'll very quickly explain what is going on there. And afterwards I'm, uh, right, it'll be pretty obvious what is going on, so. Basically, this is the same carrier board, uh, the same blue board that we have uh, on the enemy. Let me move it into frame, right? So this board here, the blue board, is exactly the same as this one. The chip in this particular case is the CSRA64215, uh, extremely good chip. This one seems to be perhaps weaker variant of this because had it been the CSRA64215, it could have done wireless stereo, so I don't know. I really think that this is a different uh, different chip because otherwise there's absolutely no reason why you wouldn't have two of these be able to pair with each other, right? Anyway, so you can see that the topmost pin goes to PIO8, and you can program this in the config tool. I have some videos uh, on that as well. You can program that to do whatever, right? And in this case, they've programmed it to be on, right? To be high. So it has 1.8 volts whenever music is streaming. 
So not when it's connected, not when it's powering up, not when it's uh, whatever, only when it's streaming. Right? So basically what we want to do is somehow get 1.8 volts on this pin always. But we can't just connect to this because at some point it's going to go low when you don't play music and you don't want to burn the pin inside of the chip. And it probably will just burn itself out localized and the thing will keep working. But the good way to do it is the following. Um, so we cut this trace here. Right, so you can see the topmost connector. And I've simply cut the trace over there with an X-Acto knife, whatever you want. And then on the other side, on this resistor, I simply tacked a wire, which I took to the second pin from the bottom on the right side. And that is absolutely all it takes to uh, fool this microcontroller here, right, the STM32F they have going on. Uh, basically, that's how it knows whether music is playing or not. And with this mod, right, we're cutting the trace to protect the Bluetooth chip and we're taking 1.8 volts to it to fool this chip into thinking that music is always playing. And if it thinks music is always playing, it's obviously not going to turn the thing off. So basically, that is what all you need to do, right? And uh, now that this is finally usable, in the next video I'm going to show you guys how to uh, add a battery pack to it and make this mobile. Because that's the only thing that this is missing and it's really an easy mod. So we have an 18 volt supply. We'll, we'll, we'll just take that to a current limited buck converter. Uh, take it to I think 3 or 4 S pack. We'll see how, what I go with. Um, some balancing, some uh, protection circuitry and then we'll be done. Alright, so thanks for watching and have a good one.